Howdy, howdy, folks. Happy St. Patrick's Day and happy Sunday fun day. A train here with you for another episode of Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. I want to welcome you back to the channel for a Sunday fun day double play. This is the front end of it. We're going to do some uh, tearing apart of Sweet Caroline here. And then later on, it's uh, currently 1600 Central Daylight Time here in the United States. So uh, in about three hours, we're going to switch over to Medieval Dynasty. So I'm going to do a couple hours of this and then do a couple hours of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can do it this, so you can do it that. Let me uh, do this here real quick. Since... Since I didn't get the option to do that here in uh, in YouTube. All right, cool. So enough Willy Foo Foo stuff. Let's uh, let's kick it over to the game. Oh, you know what? In fact, let me sh actually show you something. If you're not familiar with this game, it's really cool. It's on sale now. Uh, again, as of this recording, I think it's part of the spring uh, Steam sale, uh, and it's available from uh, Hypnotic Ants Studios and Games Incubators. A couple of outfits out of Poland. Poland seems to be where all the good games are coming from these days. Because they put out Medieval Dynasty and Sengoku Dynasty as well. Um, but if you're not familiar with what a ship graveyard is, let me give you a quick image here. So this is a lot of this is done on the coast of Africa or Turkey. So basically here you see a couple of a bunch of old cruise ships. Um, I think the blue hauled ones are, or at least the one on the left, is uh, probably Royal Norwegian or something like that. Uh, the ones with the red stacks, I'm pretty sure those are Carnival Cruise Line ships. But there's also some uh, cargo ships you can see on the left. It looks like a container ship of some sort. Uh, and so basically, they drive these things at the beach. They beach them, uh, probably at high tide, I would think. Um, and then uh, start to cut them apart. With uh, you know, they, they got all the crap in them they got to take out and everything like that. Now, I'm going to switch another image to Brownsville, Texas, and this is the former, well, former aircraft carrier USS Kitty Hawk. Um, so this was a Kitty Hawk class, the lead ship in the class. Uh, aircraft carrier built in the 1960s, probably, I think the Forrestal class which preceded this were con considered the first super carriers. Kitty Hawk took that design and that philosophy further, and then Kitty Hawk was kind of the basis for the current Nimitz class and then modifications were made to that to create the Gerald R. Ford class. So Kitty Hawk has been uh, in the process of being cut up down in Brownsville, Texas. This is uh, not too far from Starbase where all the SpaceX uh, stuff is happening. And it's a, a fascinating, uh, though somewhat si uh, sad thing to see. I don't care about a cruise ship. I do care about, care about a warship uh, more. Though in the several months that she's been down there in this process, um, We've seen several Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates, which are much smaller vessels, come and, I mean, they those get cut apart relatively quickly. But those only had crews of two to, I don't know, two to four hundred men, I think, somewhere in there. They weren't very big. This ship was almost a thousand feet long or so, give or take, uh, and maybe, I don't know, 150, 200 feet wide, and <laughs> had a crew of between four and five thousand people. It's a floating city. So... Uh, a lot to come apart. You had the whole flight deck, then you had underneath that, you had stuff, and then you had the hangar deck. Uh, and now you're getting down to the guts of the ship here. Uh, the engine spaces, and then you'll have the fuel tanks and all that stuff. So it, it is a fascinating thing to me to see what goes into this process. And hey, guess what? We get to do it. So let's get back over here to Caroline. And we're going to take you topside. So this is our big thing right here is the engine, all right? Because if you look here, uh, this is the, the transmission. And the shaft connected there to the propeller, which is on the back side of the hull there, all right? So that would be the back end of the ship. So this is kind of what we've got. Um, that's going to have to be craned out. We've, we've done a, a quite a bit of work here. There's some generators and stuff here that have to be craned out. This needs to be craned out. I'm just feeling like this is a bit of a trick, possibly. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Um, but that's going to have to be craned out. That's got to be craned out. That's got to be craned out. 
So you got to obviously unwrap the package so it can be done. Now we over here we've got the top side of the engine, right? Now if we go and I've opened up walls to create spaces not only for us to chuck stuff out to the uh, truck but to make it easier to get into places where we need to do work uh there's a thing yeah here's a, pal a pa big pallet of stuff that's got to be craned out and then up here there's another one there was electrical in this room but i got that shut down and cleared out there was a couple of electrical panels and a switch right here um, that's all gone hooray so good deal um but yeah so we need to unwrap the package so we can get to this stuff now i did upgrade a couple of tools my hammer now this is a, a level three hammer it takes two wax to uh bust up a, a connection thing and then i've got an upgraded uh grinder angle grinder here uh plus i upgraded my gloves which means my carrying capacity is uh, 177 pounds so that's helpful yeah going to pump you up so we got uh, we got pumped up and that's all good so there uh, all right what we need to do is head topside let me see where I've got the I've taken a lot of the safety rails out I'm trying to keep them in some places but this here is the section we need to work on now this was the bridge all right so we're to the bridge deck and then we basically just need to take these walls out or bulkheads and then we'll have this deck we take this decking out, and then I think that will give us access to crane that out and then crane the other piece back here that's in that space out. But first things first, <clears throat> we got to get the, uh, the walls out of the way. So let's, uh, let's go to hammer time here, and you'll see whack, whack, done. The little blue things, smack them with your hammer. Now, see, this is now loose, so I just got to pop this, and then you don't really have to get out of the way. You don't get hurt with this game. Now, I did go look uh, back at videos just to compare last night as we grind away these uh, braces of uh, what is the, oh shoot, now I've forgotten the name of it, uh, Spaceship, de the Spaceship Demolition Game. Shoot, let me, uh, let me whip this out here and look real quick, because it's, um, it actually you can get hurt in that uh, let's see is it available here yeah. no no I'm not seeing it poop I, I believe maybe it's on my wish list oh sh a ship breaker hard space that's it yeah there it is hard space sh ship breaker so that and that's only running fourteen dollars US right now it's sixty percent off it looks more challenging uh, in regards to the fact that you're working in a zero G environment and you have to maneuver stuff around using like electrical, I don't know, like magnetic fields and stuff. So it's kind of kind of crazy like that. Um, but. Uh, I don't know if that something i would get jiggy with but it, you can you can die <laughs> you can get hurt and you can get dead what's rule number one of the dan bongino show don't get dead so that's uh, a mantra we use here uh, on the channel too whoops watch this stuff fall now okay come here oh i'm carrying too oh it stopped hooray i'm um, carrying up oh, not too much to grab that and then we just right click and el chucko that, as long as that line's green it chucks it to your truck or to a, a, a storage bin if you set up one of those. All right, cool. So back to the hammer. And this is all disconnected at the top already. I loosened all this crap. No big deal. Now, I'm going to keep the, the backside walls in place. See, they're just being held by those two connections right there. So we can just keep the frame pieces, you know, under control. So we're going to collect and recycle as much crap as we can. I need to get oils. So I think, I'm hoping when we uh, crane out some of the pallet, palletized material um, off this next deck down, 
We're going to get some oil because I want to upgrade the uh, grinder. And to do that, we're, oh, oh, didn't know that was going to happen. Carrying too much? Oh, yes, I am. I realize that broke up the floor there. Okay, no problem. Whoops. All right, that takes care of that. We'll grab that. That's still in play. Cool. Super. Now, we go back to the hammer and doink, doink. We'll grab that before it goes bye bye. Whoops. Okay. Grab that. Okay. It falls through us. Whatever. Whatever works. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid, right? That's what we say. All right, so now we can tag this and get smacked in the head by that. Whatever. Uh, this needs to be squared away with the grinder. This is kind of a chill game, but it's a puzzle game where you have to, you know, kind of work through. Um, kind of, you kind of got to be smart how you do this. And what I figured out on this ship because it's a little bigger is. Um, how to create, how to make your job e and life easier by removing panels to allow you to chuck stuff to the, uh, uh, out to the truck and, and things like that, okay? It makes life a lot easier on yourself. All right, this is done. Okay. Uh, this, nope, this one still has a connection right here. And that looks done. Nope, it's not. Now we're done. So when you see the yellow outline, yeah, then it's telling you you can hit it to break it. Boink. Cool. And back to the grinder. Back to the grind. This will give us some wood here. It's strange that this doorway is made of wood. But you know, whatever. We need oil. See, up in the top left, it says 51 pounds of oil. Um, that's what we need to increase. And I'm hoping the machines will do that for us. Okay, 157. That's probably good enough. As long as we got a little bit of line of sight, see, this will throw it all the way down there. And that works. Okay, good to go there. Smack that. Break this. Grab that. Pop this. Smack that and take it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. As long as that bracing's in the floor, I'm not worried about it. So that freed up this and this. And now we're heavy. Pwee. Okay, so now here, go back to the grind. So this is the level two grinder, and it takes three seconds to cut through something. So we want to get to the level three. I imagine it's going to take two seconds. And as we get the bigger and bigger ships, you know. Um. I'll make things work much better, much more better. All 
All right, cool. Let's go ahead and chuck that. And this right here takes care of that and that. Let's go ahead and grab the grinder. Style and wait. Boink. And that takes care of that. Give me that. And give me that. Dang, did it fall through the deck? It did. There we go. We got it. Okay, cool. Alright. That cleared the upper portion of the deck. So now we want to kind of work back here on this decking and this should hopefully free up this first uh, spot where we can crane out this pallet and I just want to work just this specific area and leave myself an escape route That should loosen up all that. Okay, cool. Got it. Now, this here will loosen up. This is going to loosen up this too. See how it's yellow? Okay, that just takes care of everything. Now, all these panels are going to break loose. We're 159. Okay, cool. So now... Now, we could knock these panels out beneath, but I really don't want to fall through the floor, you know what I'm saying? That would need no fun. I mean, it might be fun for you guys, but not so fun for me. Uh, I think we're going to need all this space. Get the crane in here. Okay. Oh, we're maxed out again. <laughs> we're maxed out again. <laughs> maxed out pretty quick. All right, so that gets us to this point. So now we'll go back to the hammer and now we're going to start working this decking. So now this deck should be loose. And see, here's our stuff we want to crane out. Damn it, I fell. And I don't know why I fell. I wasn't even standing on this stupid thing. Oh, hey, wait, wait. All right, cool. We're back up. Hooray. Yeah, so that does not give us full access. We're going to take out these panels here as well. So, what I'm going to do is take out this. 
But that's separate. Okay, cool. Got it. Now, this has been cut. Yeah, this needs to be cut. I think this is still, I don't know if this is early access on this. I don't think this is, it may be. I don't think this is full build yet. They've l released a couple of DLCs, which have uh, steel giants and warships, which is super cool. Let me just, uh, let me check that for you real quick here. So if we go here and we go here so yeah if you've got stuff on your steam wish list now would be a good time to go check it out ship grave large simulator 2 mostly pot well recent reviews now have slipped from very positive to mostly positive i'd like it um so i will be writing a good okay so the uh sale ends from uh for this on march 21st Um, do, 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 it does not. Now, this is a follow up to Ship Graveyard. I, it doesn't say if this is early access or not. So, and then there's a beta of co op. So, yeah, there's going to be a uh, co op uh, mode coming soon, which is cool. All right, let me close that. Let's get back to work here. And I'm not sure I need to. Yeah, I think we are going to have to. Oh, I'm looking the wrong direction. This is the direction I should be looking. Okay, so let's break this and break this. Okay. And now we're loaded. And Uh, let's see here. All right, so we can get this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and that piece, and that piece. All right, and then we could go ahead and bust this over here. I'm, I think those are on a separate deal. Yeah, see, that's separate. That's good. Sweet. I think this is going to work nicely. Okay, so that all fell down and went boom. Whatever. All right, so let's just jump over here onto this, grab this, grab that. Now, the only thing is, I think we're going to have to take the walls out, too. I think we got to take the walls out. I don't think we're going to be able to crane this from here. Let's go to... Oh, maybe we can. Sweet. We are going to be able to crane this out. So it'll be interesting to see what we get out of this deal. That helps. All right, zoom. All right, that's out of here. Sweet. Now, we gotta go back. Or we can turn this off. Okay, so that's taken care of. So now I think we're okay to. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay to clear that panel out right there. So, oh, look there. Oh, sweet. Yes, that's what we wanted to see. We got lots of good stuff out of that deal. All right. 
could pop this here and this here. And that'll clear that out. Doink. And where the hell did it go? Huh. Well, I'm not sure. All right, cool. Well, whatever. All right, we got stuff up here that will be probably the last bits that we deal with uh, here. Okay, so now I think. That and then that and then that. All right. Um, so here's the thing. We already got this first contract done. Um, we don't have much iron for her. Ovens. Okay. Cardboard boxes, ovens. We got the copper she wants. Got the wood that she wants. She needs iron. Now here... We're going to have to find aluminum, gold, and high alloy steel. And we'll get to that deeper in the ship and probably when we haul out the motors. Uh, or there could be some in the uh, Connex container down there. So, So let's see here then. What do we want to do with this? Hmm. So there's a bunch of space here. I want to save this so we have that. So we're going to work our way back to this corner, right? Clearly. That's what we need to do. Uh, let's go, not there. Let's go here. Okay, cool. Kick over this. We're about to go get us a new grinder, I think. I hope. Get an April Larson grinder. Ha! What does that mean, A-Train? April Larson is a young lady who's a pool player. She's in her 20s. I got the chance to meet her and, and play a rack with her. Damn it, if I could have made that 7-9, I would have won as well. So she's a professional player. Uh, I am not. And, um, but I got real close to, uh, to beating her just in a, you know, one rack deal. And so she, her nickname is the grinder. So that's kind of cool. All right. I'm going to leave this here. I think we're going to go over here and start busting this up. But thinking about it, holy crap, that whole area freaking fell. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Whoops. Some of the pitfalls, you got to know what's beneath you or not in this case. Okay, there's that. Hammer time. All right, whoops. Aha, yeah. <laughs> Remember those openings I said I made? This is one of them. So now this will be the next section we work out here. We're kind of working that direction anyway. And I think we really could, at this point now,
There's a bunch of crap here to pick up. <laughs> oh. Grab you. Then chuck you. Oh, we got more stuff over here. I think we can... Whoa, there's another panel. Hello? Hello? It says it's there, but it's saying it's not there. Okay, well, whatever. Making progress here. This is good. This is good. I like it. All right. So, hmm. I think. Oh, look. There's something we can pick up. So we got this area cleared out. All these walls can come down. That area is safe. This area here could come down. Oops. right over here by this connex unit i'm not sure if we have to take this stuff out to get to it or not uh you know what we'll take this wall out though yeah one more good load here i'm gonna see if i can crane out the connex and then um, we're going to go see if we can upgrade this angled cutter. Nope. Wait. Yeah, we should be able to pick one of those. Those 11 pounds. Okay. We it cleared. Hooray. All right. So now we can smack this and see you can access your hammer to smack stuff to break it even when you're in bare hands mode so that works out weird why am I oh there it is Got it. Okay, cool. All right, let's ditch. Well, we don't have to ditch it. Let's just boink, jump on, hooray, and get on the grinder. And it'll tell you if it's clear to crane out. Uh, it'll be red if you can't. So now we're going to go here, and it's clear. All right, let's watch them crane the connex out here. Here it comes. And then see what goodies we get for it. This is the stern of the ship right here. Zoom. Thank you. Please drive through. What kind of goodies are in the connex? And am I going to kick myself in the ass for not doing that earlier? Now there is a ladder here that you can climb up and down with. So what it does is it swings that stuff around over to the behind the fence over there. And then you get the recycle stuff. So watch for that in the upper left hand corner. 
Let's see what we get. Actually, it'll come across the top of the screen. 486 pounds. Oh, 486 pounds of iron and some aluminum, num, 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 which I think is what this lady wants. All right, sweet. So we got iron and aluminum, num, num, num. So we need another 500 pounds of iron still. I have a feeling we'll get that here. And then we need some uh, now this is the engine room. I don't want to fart around the engine room. We want to go up another deck. We want to go there. This is the key area. So what we got to do is take out these five roof panels or yeah, deck panels here. All right, so let's get those and then we'll crane out that pallet and then I think we'll be set for now. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these are them. So let's go to hammer time. Okay, these are loose. Now we hit this to break all that stuff loose. Okay. Then we come over here. All Okay, cool. All right, so now this here, we gotta be careful. We gotta break this here, then this here, this here, and these over here. And done. Just like that. Thank you. Oh, okay. We got an app for that. Catapult arms. All right, let's get the radio and pick it up. <clears throat> awesome. I think we could go ahead here and hammer out. Zoom. Thank you. Place drive through. here aluminum copper acid and more what's the more what the hell was that no, that's gonna be a pain in the butt okay Close out that space and
Now, they're still decking up there. I don't want to mess with that yet. We still got to go take care of that. Speaking of going and taking care of, taking care of stuff, what I said. <laughs> There's stuff down here that I need to... Nope, we're good. Cool. And see that next deck? Well, okay, we still got to finish... <clears throat> oh, we still got two decks to remove. That deck, and then that deck, and then we can get to the machine. But now, on this next deck down, you got the generator equipment in the back. So we can get to that. That'll be good. All right, so let's... Let's see here. Um... So we got the aluminum that she needs. We're almost there on the high alloy steel, but nothing on the gold yet. I think the gold's going to come out of the generators or the engine. Um, what I'm looking at is trying to figure out. Why my stuff isn't showing available here. See, I'm only showing 50. Mm, something's weird here. Yeah, we need oil for that too. Okay, we already did that. $50 for mobile cargo. Oh, that's okay. Um, we collected a bunch of crap. So my question is... Um, okay, we don't, I don't want to sell any of that. I'll sell... That much metals. Yeah. Okay, so you can sell stuff. You can recycle stuff. You buy your plans for tool upgrades here, and then you go over there and have him make them, and then that's your place down there. My question is, I got all this stuff in the truck. How do I get it into my warehouse? I want the oils in my warehouse. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of liquids. So, then we're almost set here. We're done with Junosh. Hmm. How do I get the liquids I have in here? Or is that part of the recycling deal? Oh, that's going to suck. Let's check the wiki. Sorting place. In the sorting place, you'll sort pieces you've retrieved. Allow, this allows you to retrieve to sell specific materials or use them in the workshop. Aha! That's what we need. So, I was afraid that you go to the recycling plant and... Okay, so this sorts your stuff and then you can work with it. All right, good stuff. You have uncompleted contracts. Uh, I want to sort the excess. All right, here we go. A and D are the key keys here. And... Oh, shoot. That was wrong. 
I'll have to go back and fix that. I didn't see the yellow bands. I was looking at the color of the... What an idiot. So it's you look at the banding around the item. You see you can press the space bar to speed it up. I was looking at the blue barrels, and that threw me off. There's what we need right there. This is just going to resort this piece that we missed. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Now look in the upper left. Now we got 838 pounds. Get me out of this truck. It needs air conditioning anyway. All right, now we come see home, Vern. And now we say saw upgrade level two, please. Boom. Yes. All right, and then we can do torch upgrade too. You know, that's going to take a lot. Gloves level two. Okay. And I think we're good for now. All right, there's 427 pounds. We got hammer level three. Let's go buy the hammer level four. Let's check our blueprints here. This costs forty dollars for hammer level four. I I just I want to see. I don't know what the resources are. Okay, we'll take that. Saw blueprints level three. Blah 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 blah. That's twenty bucks for gloves. Gloves are helpful. That's going to be a hundred dollars total that we would have spent. So I'm going to I'm going to stick with what we got here. We don't need to get everything right away. But let's see if we can upgrade what we got here. Uh huh. That's going to cost 88 pounds of that, 265 pounds of non metals. We got that. $10. Give me a new hammer. Boom. Uh, torch upgrade. That's a lot. 71 pounds. Yep. Yep. Cool. Sweet. Okay. I think we're good. <clears throat> Let's see what our new hammer looks like. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now we got it. Now we got the I wanna be your sledgehammer. Bum bum. Why don't you call my name? Do do. Sledgehammer. Be a testimony. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Bum ba dum ba -da -da. Sledge hammer. All right, let's look at. Um, oh, look, our hands are like taped up and stuff. That's kind of weird. <laughs> your improved gloves are your hands actually being taped up from all the damage they've taken. Oh, that's lovely. I seem to be moving faster, too. All right, here we are, back up top. All right, so now we can start working this uh, this decking. Whoa! <laughs> now you like me now. That broke all that stuff. Yeah, look at this. We're grabbing two at a time now. Hoo -hoo -hoo! That's nice. Let's get our new grinder. All right, it's orange with a fancier wheel on it. That looks like a higher quality grinding wheel. I think about two and a half seconds. Yeah, instead of three seconds, it's taking about two and a half. Our efficiency just increased significantly.
That's a trick now with freaking grabbing stuff faster. It's a little bit trippy. All right, let's do this part. Okay, that gets those out of the way. Cool. Which then gets us to this cabin. Okay. Dig it. We don't have a ton of oil. I think we're going to get more oil when we clear out these machinery pieces. But I don't want to blow that just yet on upgrading this grinder. I have a feeling we could upgrade the crane and it would move faster. That seems logical. Whoops. Look out below. Sorry. I wonder when I get safety goggles. Damn it. Cool. All right, so that takes that out of play. There's still deck up here. Still decking here. Oh, we can get that. I think there's crap down here we can grab. Is there? Yeah, it's there. Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Fine. Fine. It's fine. Okay, so there's that. Go back up here. Next step is going to be to take out this area. Wait a minute. Hold it. Before I do that, so I'm not sure if another plate fell down there. All right, let's get this. Let's get this. And then we'll drop down here. Boink. Grab that, and then we're full up. Let's see here. I can go back up here and then jump over. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. All right, that's still on the next deck down. So really, we just want to kind of wrap this up up here. All right, and then...
Okay. I think we could just drop this roof in on the space below. This ceiling, I should say. Bombs away. I cleared that out. We kind of don't need this anymore, but we'll keep it because it is a little bit of a convenience. Dang it, here we are carrying too much again. You grab two things at a time and it, it adds up quick. You know? I guess the two things that you grab have to be adjacent to each other. Cool. That's already broken loose. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and smack that. This panel. Grab that, grab these. Wait, we daylighted that? Yeah, we daylighted that corridor. I don't know if that'd be a proper way to call it, but if you were in railroading and that were a tunnel, you cut the roof off to blow the roof off the tunnel, you have daylighted the tunnel. So we're going to use that term. We daylighted that corridor. Now we, 
Now we're to a point where we had not daylighted. Okay, very good. Now we need to go fix that. entirely possible no wait maybe if we break this the panel's going to fall too but except this is holding it in place so that worked out look at that we'll be back for that Ah, that was holding it up. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see how much we're going to get out of this weight-wise. Okay, that's cool. Now this is opened up. Now we're carrying too much. Okay, cool. All right, that takes care of that. Yeah, we got the stairs right there, so I don't think we're going to need this anymore. So we're going to take this out. Boom. Nice. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and get rid of this railing. Okay, now this, so we can take out this section. I'm kind of taking out two decks at one time here. Nope, not that. Uh, we're going to wait on this because if I break that and that, well, this panel will be loose, but that framework will still be in place. I'd rather get the decking first. We've got stuff to pick up anyway. Okay. Well, this decking's got plenty holding it up, it looks like. So let's go ahead and break it loose. Oh, it's two, two small panels there. Heh. <laughs> that timed out well with my dryer buzzer. 
Uh, okay, so there's that, which means now I would just as soon get this piece broken free. Oh, that brought the whole thing down. Nice. All right, cool. Now we can take this out. Now the decking is loose beneath our feet, though. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of how that happened. Yeah, see? All these deck plates are loose. I don't like walking on loose deck plates. That's just me. Hi, Lee. Hello. Appreciate you stopping by to say hi. Hope you enjoy your dinner. Let us know what uh, what you had. All right, so there's that. All right, now what's on the other side here? That, and then this, right? So this space here, I think we're clear to go ahead and cut up. And that takes us to here. Get these panels. Those panels are okay. These panels are okay. think we have anything we need to worry about in here. I don't think we need this anymore either. All right. Uh, keep that stuff in place. Let's go back up and finish up here. All right. So I don't feel we don't this is department of redundancy department here. So let's actually takes all that out. Oh, we're loaded. All right now we're fully loaded. Okay, that takes that out. That just loosens some more floor panels. And we're on the heavy side again. And now we're loaded.
think we're good to go here. All this crap. That we're going to hold for now. It's going to loosen the floor panel on top of everything else. Okay. Still a little more roof up there. Great, that just fell into Never Never Land. This ain't no Never Never Land. All right, so over here. Now, that's where things get a little touchy. Okay. Okay, got it. I don't think I can reach that stuff, so that's fine. Yeah, this is it. We have walked ourselves back to the edge here. Oh, shoot. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We did walk ourselves back to the edge, didn't we? We walked ourselves back to the very edge. All right, here we go. Shoo, that was close. All right, that takes care of that deck, though, doesn't it? Really? Wow. All right, so that narrows things down. Hello, there's something to pick up. There's more to pick up.
Okay, cool. That works. That works. That works. Okay. Whoa, overboard. Wow, that went down. Down a ways. Oh, this still has a doink. Can't grab that. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so this here needs to be broken, and then that will be done. Sweet. Uh, that's all good for now. Okay, cool. Doink. Oops. Rejected. Rebuked. There we go. Got that. And then...
Okay. So now. Nice. Autumn, howdy, howdy, how are you today? Happy St. Patty's Day to you. I'm doing well, thank you. We are working on Caroline a little bit more here. And then... In another hour and a half or so, we're going to switch back over to Medieval Dynasty. And I'm thinking we may venture over to the Valley Map on Oxbow. Checked it out last night, I guess, for a few minutes till I got killed. Because the wolves, yeah. Mm-hmm. They have really figured out that when those get around your feet, it's very difficult for you to engage them hand-to-hand, -hand, as it were. I was dealing with one at the uh, two-level camp, which is Site 13 on my looting path map. And actually found the iron crossbow and bolts in the bag. And yeah, couldn't get it loaded, couldn't get it brought to bear, and got dead. How's the grandkids? Grandbaby's doing well? All right, good. This is... Is this it? Oh, this is it. Wop, but please let me know. If this ain't love, you gotta let me go. If this is it. So I up, shoot, wait, it's right there. Uh, it's right there. Thank you. I upgraded, notice I got a sledgehammer now. I feel like Peter Gabriel. Yeah. Um, and, um, I have upgraded, wait, did I upgrade my gloves? What did I upgrade? I got a hammer upgrade. This is like a level four hammer. And, oh, this is the level three grinder. So, yeah, got some more tool upgrades here. All right, cool. All right, so now, are we where we need? I think we're where we need to be here. It's like Visa. Oh, hello. Let's get this crap. And we'll get that piece. And Oh, we got some trash here. What? How did I miss that? All right, so now, whoops, not that. Chuck this. Now, so here's the engine room, but we need the generator room right there. So this next level of decking we take off is going to allow us to crane out. Um the stuff beneath us here, which is good. We need that out. The thing is, well, you know what? There's, well, that's kind of a stairway to nowhere. So I think we're going to have to work our way from here back over. Notice our hammer only takes now one whack to loosen up these panels, which is freaking sweet.
and our gloves allow us to grab two things at a time, which is super cool, much more efficient. You enjoyed it. That's what matters, right? You have to enjoy Grammy time. See how I grab two things at a time? Watch this. So I hit the button once, grabs two. Boom. Sweet. That just broke everything loose. All right, now we're maxed out. Oh, wait. So this is getting super efficient. Now I figured out what to do, how the sequencing works here. Um, it's much easier understanding what to do so the sequencing is we get all this crap to recycle right and so but it's all jumbled up so what we got to do is we've got to go sort it so the recycle bin thing with the game deal over there right there is where you go do that first and then you go over to that guy with the dollar sign there to sell materials because once you sort it and recycle it or you sort it at the recycler, then it all appears in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Then you go sell what you want at this guy. Unless you want to close contracts, you go back to your house and close contracts. Then when you make some money from this guy, you go to this guy and buy plans. Then you go to this guy, you got to have materials to upgrade the tools. I guess we could take this <laughs> this stairway is no longer needed so we will take it out oh, angle grinder going on here oh I gotta loosen those first Okay, so now our next objective, hmm, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that gets us down to framework up here, except for this section. Let's fix that. Well, one section fell through. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why this sounds like there's an EKG beeping off our head. That's weird. Oh, that took the railing out too. Nice. I like it. Okay. So now... That, come here, you, come here. Some loose bits and pieces from upper decks that fell through and clipped through, I guess. Okay, so we need to get this part. And then we've got, so we've got, this is our access way up here. So we don't need this stairway here. We've got access here, though. This is no good. So what we can do is just take this out. Whoops, they got rejected. Okay, cool. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right, so these are the guys we're trying to get to right here. So... Giving your dog a haircut. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got this stairway and that stairway. Let's. I can't. Mm, I still kind of feel like I want to work my way back over to that side. I kind of want to do this dramatically, though. I'm going to do a test on this side.
So now, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And then boom, 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 boom. Stop, drop, and roll, fool. Oh, this one. Cool. All right, that cleared that out. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I kind of like this. I think we got a system figured out here. There it goes. Down to the engine. Oh, oh, that's us going down to the engine. All right. <clears throat> well, we'll clear up some of this crap. That was close. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's grab some more here. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Nope, we're full. <laughs> we're about to have the engine in a position where we can free it up. So let's just do this. Jeez, we got loaded up that quick. We loaded up that quick. I like how quick we're loading up, though. Getting here done. Whee! Goodbye. Look out below. Sweet. All right. All right, all right, all right. We are getting here. We are getting places, people. Moving and grooving. All right, so over here, what we figured out is break that. Make the, break the first layer. We, call, we already cut everything, right? 
Then we break the second. And there you go. That's efficient. I like it. Efficiency at work. In there see it's breaking so this below us is a load-bearing wall that right there is a load-bearing wall so we do this and all three of these are going to drop and we're good and over here this is a separate uh, compartment and there those go all right all right so now we can jump down and grab this stuff doink Oh, that's now we're full. Whoops. All right, there's that. Like these gloves, works out. Wait, we got plenty of. There we go. Okay. We're almost to these guys. So, what I think we're going to do here now is open up this space effective. Whoops, nope, not with that. Open up this space above the engine. So let's actually, I'm going to start grabbing stuff here. Okay, and then that, 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 and bombs away. There's the next row. curious here in a minute if we're going to be able to crane out the engine without taking out the next deck below you know open to more space around it i think it'd be nice if we could just do that this is it being a sunday fun day double play saint patrick's day special um i 
want to look at wrapping things up here before too long. Nice. All right, well, that kept the engine open. Now, here's the question. Not yet. Not clear just yet. We're close. I think we take out this row and we may be okay. the reflection of the sparks that's super cool all right we're gonna go to hands and then we're gonna right click whoops didn't mean to do that but that's okay that was dumb Okay, that I would think, would think, oh, we have to, we still have to cut it loose. Oops, that's a minor technicality, isn't it? Well, look at all the crap down here. That was quick. We filled up quick there, didn't we? And we filled up again. All right, looks like we got our next contract complete. It's good. Whoops. Doink. I got there. Whatever. I think they should be able to crane this out. What? Cool. Let's go watch it from the second level, shall we? I think we shall. Nope, nope, not there. This way. Behind the safety rail. Turn that annoying sound off. Now here comes the crane. Oh, this is going to be a lot of materials here, folks. Watch this. That's awesome. That is a big piece of machinery. Oh, my goodness. Look at 44 pounds of gold. I told you. Plus one more. I don't know what that means. But, yeah, that's a lot of schmutz. Oh, now we can claim both of our contracts. Now we're technically done with this ship. Technically, we are done. But. That doesn't mean that I'm done. I 
I want to at least get these next two major pieces out here, but I kind of like the idea of, you know, although it's kind of weird how we wound up with just a portion of the ship, you know? Like, hmm, wait a minute. How do I only get the ass end of the ship? Of course, that's where all the good stuff is. All right, so there's all that, okay? There's that. And you know what? We're going to switch back to this. Here we go. Break that, that, and that. Drop them. Break that, that, and that. Drop them. So now we're to the stuff beneath. Actually, now we should be able to crane this out. How did I miss that? Well, you can go look for it, blockhead. That's how you missed it. Oops. Radio. Oh, we can't. Oh, it's not unlocked. Hold on, I'll call you back, Sven. This should have some oil in it. Zoom, zoom. Let's put it down, and we got. 22 pounds of oil. Sweet. And aluminum and iron. That's good stuff there. Okay. 
and we still have that extra ladder there to get up and down here all right so we're good to take this out now we come over here and cut these cut the cheese Loaded back up that quick. And now, oh, geez, we got to cut this stuff out. Which means we may need to take this. Yeah, we got to take that bulkhead out first. Okay, what's on the back side here? More decking. Kinda. Okay. Almost. Can't pick that up. Go. Down below. All right, that takes care of that. So now Work around this side. Drop back and punt.
All right. Uh, break this. Let's care of that. We gotta do these two. Gets us access to this, which now gives us access to this. <laughs> Whoops, that looks stupid, didn't it? Take it up. All right, 77 more pounds of oil, some aluminum, and aluminum, and aluminum, and iron. I like it. Whoopsie. So here, now we've gotten the, ma the major stuff off the ship. <laughs> that was cool. Yep, especially the, the gloves are very helpful. Although, now, the level 2 upgrade increases your carrying capacity. Level 3 upgrade allows you to grab two things at once, like that. Of course, it helps the two things have to be, like, adjacent to each other. But, like this, it won't, it, it'll pick up the two small pieces, I think. 
or maybe just one. Uh, so let's give this the boot. Now we've gotten all the heavy equipment off the ship, so that's good. Um, That's part of that bulkhead, that wall there. Hmm, excuse me. Whoops, that was dumb. Oops. Doink. Punted that right back in my face. You gotta have the right click or press E to break. Uh, thing going. Nope. Okay, now this part. Whoops, we're not done yet. Crap. Okay, that gets that. We have taken a toll on this baby. All right, so all of our contracts are complete. And we've craned out the heavy stuff. Basically, all we've got left is just schmutz. All right, we've gotten the good stuff. So we really could stop at this point and sell this and move on to the next ship. Or there's more money to be made here. I mean, that's just... So that's a that's kind of a given. Um, but what I want to do is uh, check here. Okay, we're good. Oh, there's stuff. I don't know how we get the propeller. Oh, here's something. That's just trash laying around. And we got this to pick up too. Whoops. And then those two over there too. All right, so let's go through the sequence of what we do once we've gotten, you know, 18,000 pounds of crap in the truck. All right. So there we go. Close enough. All right. So now we're going to jump in the truck and we're going to drive back over. Yeah. Our first stop is going to be our place. So both of our contracts say claim. So we're going to go to our contracts here. Asha. Boom. Claim. $50. Contracts. Miss Saxon. $100. Nice. That's a lot of crap. 
Finish Caroline's contracts. All right, very good. So technically, we could get rid of her. We're not going to, though. Now, next step in the process, and I'm just going to run this. So now, uh, actually, next step in the process is to pull the truck over here to the sorting plant. So take care of the contracts first. Whoops. And we're going to drive in here. See, now it, say, it doesn't say we have stuff to set out to segregate to complete contracts because we completed the contracts. Okay, right? All right. So we could auto sort, but we're not going to do that. We're going to play the game. All right, A and D keys, move the bins back and forth. And this, this is right, right here. Damn it. I think we got it. Now I can hold the space bar and speed it up until I see something else coming along. And you're looking at the ribbons. But don't let the blue oil drums fool you because that's what screwed me up last time. A goes left. E goes right, or D goes right, excuse me. Spacebar speeds it up. Ooh, we got green. That's it. I think we're good. Perfect sort. Sweet. $22 combo money bonus. Nice. All right, cool. So now you can see up top what all we got. So now let's jump out of the truck. And I think we've got the upgrade for the um, saw. No, we already did upgrade the saw. We could upgrade the torch, but still, that's 212 bucks. That's a lot. What's the crane up? Oh, let's uh, So, yeah, what you said. So let's go over here and buy some more tool upgrades. So, $120, oof, I don't want to blow up our budget. Saw level four, okay. Torch blueprints, $20, okay. Crate blueprints. Okay. Glove blueprints, 40 bucks. Pick up speed, okay. Oh, now we pick up three things. Nice. Rope uh, makes you jump, go up higher. Crane, now move 200. Ooh, that's expensive. Nope, we ain't doing the crane. Not right now. All right, thank you. Place drive through. Now, back over to this guy. Namaste, bro. Now, what you said. All right, what is this going to take? 88 pounds of oil, $10 cash, 265 pounds of tools, order. Boom. Torch upgrade. We've got torch level two. Oh. Yeah, we ain't doing that. I can't believe I freaking bought that. That was dumb. All right. Crate. This should be straightforward. We got tons of this material. And order. I'm not sure what that does. Gloves. What you got? What you got? What you got? 97 pounds of oil, 292 pounds of uh, ferrous material or non ferrous material, and 10 bucks. Order. Boom. Crane update. Great. Nope. Explosive. Nope. Mobile cargo. We might need one of those eventually. We ain't going to buy it just yet. Cool. All right. So let's see. Oh, look. We got legit gloves now. Cool. Little, little cotton gloves because those, those seem terribly helpful. Yeah. The hammer. It, the hammer time. Now we're. We didn't upgrade our torch. This is new. Now, the other thing we can do is drive back over here and bebop out of here. Now, we're going to hold on to our oil. 
I don't need this out. We don't need that out. Well, if this guy gives a bad deal, we may need that out. Um, we're going to hold the oil. Let's check this out. So now we're going to sell like 17,000. Uh, 22,260. How close can we get to that? Close enough. So, all right, now we just some geesh. Uh, equipment we're holding on to. Now, this is worth, well, it's worth a little more. So, like 1,214 pounds of equipment. All right, now we're making some money. Non-metals, I think we could sell probably, sell like 715 pounds. I just want to keep enough that I'm sure I can make equipment upgrades, you know what I'm saying? All right, now, something I bought was going to take some cash. And it was the thing that was going to take oil, too. All right, now. There is not much of Caroline left here, but we're going to see what these upgraded tools do and then break for dinner. Whoa! The truck spins out in this crappy beach. It's a crappy beach. All right. Where do we go here? We could go. I'm not sure if we could use our grappling hook. I guess we can. All right. Super. So we upgraded our hoopa jupe, right? I think we did. Yes, we did. Now we don't need this one, so. <laughs> yeah! Now we're cooking with gas. I like it. That's going to get the work done. <laughs> yeah, now the fun begins. Look at this. Three things at a time. <laughs> I like it. All right, we don't need you right at the moment. We need this. All right, so pop. Pop, pop music, pop, pop, pop music. Talk about. Balloon, pop music. Talk about. Pop music. Oh, we are clearing this biatch out quick. Heck yeah. Sweet Caroline, dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see here. Oops, we got to do that. Oh, I'm up to 221 pounds carrying weight, too. Sweet. Yes, sir. Three things at a time. Oh. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, you ain't gonna drop. That's all right. <laughs> now we're having fun. Steve O, hey. It's uh nice. Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need to blow anything up at the moment now. What you doing? You CTFO, B. All right. 
Let's uh, <laughs> let's knock this out. come back to that and let's let's do what we need with the one tool we got out right all right 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 okay Apparently this is a longer reach hammer too. What happens if we hit that? Everything's falling apart. <laughs> yeah! Destruction, terror, and mayhem. Pass me a sissy because I'm sucker. I can slay him. Falmos, what? Bombos, what? I'm ready. We're ready. I think I want to bomb a town. Break down. <laughs> Look at this. Clean up on aisle 12. Oh, you know what? Maybe the uh, increased uh, carrying weight is a result of the upgrade to the uh, the deals, the the uh, boxes. Maybe that's the dealio. Okay, that looks cleared out. Sweet. Oops, that didn't work. So whoops. So oh, well, I'll just press that. Climbing up the ladder and you hear something splatter. I like this angle grinder. This gets the job done right here. Cool beans. Whoops, we got some. Yep, that right there. Caroline is not much left for this world, is she? <laughs> we have cut the shite out of this ship. Yeah, awesome. I like this new um, angle grinder. That is the shizzle right there. Of course, the hammer kicks ass, too. One second per cut, basically.
Nice. Man, this thing kicks ass. Kicks ass and takes names. Came here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And we are kicking ass now. This last little bit of schmutz here. All right. Oh, there's paper crap. What? How did I miss that? Hmm, that's weird. I thought I had searched every compartment. I feel like I searched every compartment. So, uh, we'll leave that. We'll leave the lights. <laughs> Tom Bodette, Motel 6, we'll leave the light on for you. Wee! All right. Well, that's awesome. So, for now... Let's see. We'll go to this. and You know what? I'm, in fact, not going to do that. We are just going to do this. We're going to put that in hold pattern and put this right here to our outro. Thanks, gang, for watching Ship Graveyard, Graveyard Simulator 2. Now available on Steam from Hypnike Ant Studio and Games Incubator. It's on sale. It's only $14. And then you get the two DLCs, Steam Giants and uh, Warships. Uh, and that totals up to about $25, $26 U.S. It's fun. It's a little puzzle. takes a little thought process. But once you start upgrading these tools, now I see it's like, man. Because up to now, we've only been doing portions of ships. And uh, going forward, you know, we're going to be moving up to getting full ships. And they're just going to get bigger and bigger. So the fact that we get our tools made, uh, working more efficiently and our carrying capacity bigger. We can also get this container thing that's like a dumpster. And we can put it up on deck with us. So we don't have to necessarily run, you know, to a point where we can get the green arc to the truck. So that works out pretty well. So check this out. And, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying this series. But it's uh, uh, St. Patty's Day, Sunday, fun day, double play. And coming up in uh, about a half hour or so will be Medieval Dynasty. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know we go live or upload a video. Or at least you'll find out within a couple of hours. Thank you, YouTube, for being on top of that. Uh, join us on Discord. Link in the description below, as is a link to our PayPal if you want to make a donation to help support the channel and our drive for a new PC. So I actually got online uh, dinking around on Newegg last night, and I could not price parts to match that Best Buy deal. Um, it would have had a lesser ATX video card instead of... Uh, instead of uh, a, uh, yeah, who am I thinking of? Well, Radeon, ATI Radeon, excuse me. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to work our way up to, we can get that uh, computer from Best Buy, and that'll be our new game machine. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to split here for a minute so I can start setting up for the next one and grab a bite to eat. So stick around, and we will see you again shortly. I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over, and I'm out.